What's going on everybody? Dave back again and today we're going to be taking a look at a kit from Takumi Studios. This is going to be the Sananju dress up kit or conversion kit however you want to end up putting that. Now if I end up seeming a little distracted once in a while during this that is because I'm actually live streaming while I'm doing this and recording this. You can go back for all the antics for the live stream but this is if you're wanting just a uh, concise what comes in the box. It's my understanding, thanks to live chat over here, that this will fit on the OVA, the recolor, the animation recolor, and the Verka. I would suggest, if uh, interested, check out Galactic Toys, use my code Starshadow, get 10% off, look for the animation color. That one ended up being about $20 less than the Verka, and it seems like a better deal. Now this is going to use a majority of the chunk of the frame, but you're going to end up replacing all the armor parts and even some of the things. So I would try and get this kit as cheap as possible. Now, I don't know if it's completely true or not. I trust my friend John, but he said that the animation recolor, they actually redid some of the, the joints. If anyone's built a, a Verka version of the Sananju, the waist joint is notorious for snapping. And so it seems like they fixed that and they fixed some other parts that had issues as well. So we'll see when that kit arrives tomorrow. Tomorrow. But right now, we're just going to take a look at what comes in here. So without further ado, let's jump down to the table, take a look at the instruction manual and all the runners, and then we'll close this out. All right, all right. So here we are with the instruction manual. I do have it propped up because it is glossy as hell. And I do have to warn you, when I opened this up, I actually had to crack open the box and put it in the garage for like two days because the fumes coming from the plastic that was in the bag on the bags was just horrendous. It's worse than any of the resin kits that I've ended up cracking open. But you got down here at Takumi Studio, science fiction model, gen general accessories. We'll get to this, but this is gonna be an important part. This is some of the modifications that they ended up making to the, the parts after the fact that they made the manual. So you definitely don't want to toss this away. It is something important. Taking a look at the instruction manual, you actually get all the runner layout over on this page, and then you get the start on the body, which is on page, which is weird. They start in page one over here. You get all the body run out. Now I'm used to resin kits. They highlight things in red that you're supposed to cut off. Don't cut these pegs off. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to keep them. Runner two is going to be the head. It actually looks like it replaces almost the whole damn head. Let's see, you got the top side, you even got the head part, P1, P. I don't see the clear piece though. So that's kind of odd. I'm not sure where that ends up even going in. I'm not seeing that in the instructions. Uh, kind of weird on that. Shoulders over here, well, you got the arms, you get the shoulders. It's not really like detailed. Like once you get into here, you'll see when we go through the runners, there's a lot of parts but it doesn't look like that many parts go on this kit, which is kind of confusing me. On the pages four and five, you've got the legs. Majority of all this whole section is the legs. Six and seven, this is gonna be the waist and the skirt. Then you've got for the backpack. The backpack is freaking awesome versus uh, compared to anything else. XE hour, uh, since I'm doing this live, we will do some of the tips because Super Chat or the chat is just distracting the hell out of me. Exia Alvarez, which is in the chat, says, don't cut off, don't cut any legs off the inner frame. Yep, it's only the head and no clear eye. Oh, you guys are completely screwing me up. <laughs> Moving on to pages eight and nine, you get the continuation of the backpack. Backpack, backpack, backpack. I like saying the word backpack. You get everything that goes on here. You get, it looks like you pretty much replace the whole shield and snaps all together. I think you still use this from the original, but I'm not sure. On the back, high gloss, gloss, gloss. Yeah, science fiction model, general accessories, Takumi Studios. All right, next up, and we are not even going to go into this. We're not going to dig into it, but you have one sheet of water slide decals for this kit alone. And then you get some foil stickers. Everyone loves foil stickers. Yes, I know, I got to move things around. It's how it's done. This is not exactly easy to do while, <laughs> while trying to film this. I, I did not think about this. All right, so getting into the runners, we have runner A here. This is going to be in a really high gloss, but I do have to say there's not really any texture on these pieces. Some of these pieces though are really, really slick and shiny. 
Uh, but you get shield pieces. I think these are for the legs, uh, crotch section, part of the backpack. Runner B, you get two of. Again, these are going to be in that same color red. No real texture on here. Um, there are some sharp edges, so you might want to take the edge of your hobby knife and kind of knock those down. Easy peasy though. I have been told in chat that uh, you might want to expand either the holes or bring down the size of some of the pegs that some are difficult to put together. Runner C, there are two of. And in these runners, you actually get different finishes, like on some of the parts for the legs, and I don't know if it's intentional or not, but you get like a high gloss over here, you get matte on these pieces over here, you get uh, some gloss mixed with some matte over on these pieces. Runner D, you get two of. Again, in that same red, uh, part for the backpack, uh, thruster pieces, backpack, backpack, uh, arm armors over here. And I think these are for the, and this is for the backpack. Runner E is gonna be another red runner and this is gonna be the last red one, I believe in there. Uh, and I don't think that the shiny is actual intentional because if I look, it's matte, but it's shiny over on this side over here. Great detail, more panel lining that looks like on these pieces than on the original. Runner F. Runner F is shiny as F. Like this is a really, really shiny runner. And I have to say, I actually think their chroming is better than Bandai's for sure. Now what they've done, it seems like they've taken a lot of the pieces that they did on the original Sinanju that you had to add like decals or paint the the gold on there and they've just made it gold and then you put black pieces over it so it pushes through and i think that they look really freaking awesome runner g this is going to be in a black and you can see all these cutouts for these pieces and these are going to be for the chest i believe um but that looks really good it is glossy with some matte on the side this is going to be part for the shield over here looks really really great Runner I, this looks a little bluish in my in my screen over here, but this is in a gray. But one of the things that you may end up noticing is they've already pre-colored like Kota Bikia does on some of their parts. You'll notice over on here, these are silver details already painted in here, along with this over here. That is freaking fantastic. Like I don't think I've seen, other than Kota Bikia, really any other companies doing that. I would probably suggest like painting this, but if you're just doing details and stuff, this is freaking fantastic. Runner J, again, you get that blue tinge. It could just be my monitor, but you do get two of these runners. On here, you get parts for the backpack, uh, internals. Uh, these are gonna be the backside of some of the, the armor pieces. You get another piece over here with the, the frame of the piece actually painted in silver. Runner K, you get two of. And this is gonna be in a little bit lighter gray. And again, these are gonna be backpack pieces and you get the pre-colored silver over on these. Looks really, really good. Runner L, you get two of. And on this one here, you're gonna get all these gold pieces, which are gonna be for the cuffs. This is gonna be for the collar, knee joint piece over here, all these little vents. Now, one thing I am kind of concerned about is there's not undergating on all the pieces. So much like Bandai, you're gonna to have to carefully remove the gates off of here and probably do some touch up. But it all depends on how it sits in the piece. They may have thought that out. I don't know yet. Runner M, you get two of. And on these, again, with those pre-colored pieces over here, over here, runner N, two of. These are gonna be in chrome and chromey they are. Now, one of the things I've noticed is this company went you know what? We don't have to chrome the whole damn thing. We just have to chrome the parts. And that's exactly what they did. Like you have sections up here that are in white, gold, uh, yellow, like all kinds of different rainbow of colors up here at the top. But the parts themselves actually look really good. Runner O, you get two of. These are in white and these, I think all these pieces go to the backpack if I'm correct. Um, but these details for the uh, for the booster pods look so freaking good versus the just generic kind of crappy master grade ones. Runner P, this is gonna be the smallest runner I think in all of them. And these are gonna be pretty much all of your head pieces. And this head crest looks fantastic. 
I don't know how much that they ended up changing, but it looks really good. Um, the sides of the head look good. They're a little soft, and I think they have more panel lines, though. Runner H, one last gray runner, and this is going to be, I think, just some detail pieces, like vent pieces, because that's what it looks like. Vents, 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 uh, the head piece over here, and I think that's about it. Last but not least, you get two more black runners. These are runner R, and these are going to be more accent pieces for the arms, uh, the... I forgot what that piece goes to. And then uh, these are for the collar, collar pieces, I think. To be honest, it's been so long since I've built one of these that, or built a Sananju that I've actually kind of forgotten. Um, for those of you that are still sticking around and you noticed uh, that I, I am also doing a live stream of this and recording this to put up later. Um, Exia Alvarez said some of the metal thrusters will need to be glued as some can be floppy. Also, some might need work to attach. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. I did it partially live and then I recorded it. So I'm editing it. So if there's glitches and stuff, I'm sorry. It's just how it is. Thought I'd do something a little bit different, a little bit crazy, a little bit fun. Stay tuned because I do have the animation version of the Master Grade coming and it should be here from Galactic Toys tomorrow. And it's been forever. I don't even know if I did an unboxing for the Verka. That was so long ago. So I will do an unboxing of that and show you guys that. I probably won't do it during live stream because this is kind of crazy. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys all in the next video. As usual, peace. peace.